So as you see, most of the issues are with MAME and Final Burn Alpha. And if you look online, there's, there's always been issues with that. But once you're in Emulation Station, you can get into the Run command. And if you can get the ROM to work in uh, Emulation Station, you can select the emulator for ROM and the default video mode for each particular game, get it working in Emulation Station first, and then when you go into a track mode, it should be working just fine. That's how mine is working now. Now I know that's a big drag, so I'm sure once we figure out how to launch the run command in a track mode, that should fix all those issues. But for the meantime, you can either play through Emulation Station or you got to fix it here before it works on the main menu in a track mode. And if you look online, that's always been the issue is that a, a track mode does need to be configured separately from your emulation station. But as you can see, I mean, it should launch just fine. The game still works, your, your image is not messed up. It runs no problem. So my question to the community is, how do we get the run command to work? If you could please comment below or send me a message, I'd really appreciate it. And once we get this fixed, I'll do an update video. For those of you having issues with the uh, attract mode artwork, I think what you're doing is you're going into the attract folder here. You're not going into the dot attract folder here. When you go into the dot attract folder, um, that's where you're actually gonna find your menu art folder. And as you see, I already added my snap and my wheel folder. Uh, images in there. I think what people are doing down here, and then they're like, oh, there's no wheel artwork folder here. Well, yeah, because you're in the wrong directory. You need to go to the dot attract. Okay? And then follow the, the instructions from the previous video. Also, it looks like Dean and the Facebook community made a complete art fo menu file now. So I'll go ahead and link that below. And this will be all the new artwork, all in one place for you all. Check the link below. I'm also going to update the link in yesterday's video as well. So I wanted to do a quick update video. A lot of people saying they're, you know, these screens are turning gray. And then a lot of people saying, you know, these games aren't working anymore. Um, I did mention this in all my videos that when you upgrade or update a track mode, you're going to have some issues and it's not perfect. The biggest issue I see is that the run command no longer works. And I think that's the root to the issue I'm having in all of my testing. Um, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, all of that works great because it's pre-set up, for example. So let's just go over to, you know, top 100. And I'll go into like a Super Nintendo game, like, like Ninja Turtles. Now I click it and it loads fine because the settings are correct. And if I do this and then I press A really quickly to get to the run command to change the emulator options, I've now frozen the pie. Now as far as the menus themselves, a lot of people saying that they're, you know, it's freezing and it's not running correctly. You know, my menus work great. I'm having no issues. They look like I could just fast scan through all of them. This seems to be running fine, and I can go in between emulators. No problem. So this part of it is not an issue. The issue is that you can no longer, the run command is not working, and that's what I'm trying to fix. But the actual gameplay and everything, is working just fine. The track wheel works just fine. Um, but as you can see, when you update a track mode, all of the emulator settings are reset. But see, like my main setup still works. I can still get into my settings. So that all works. I think the biggest thing that needs to be fixed is the run command. A couple other updates. I did get the Famicom disk system to work. I'll be uploading a video either later Day or tomorrow on how to fix that and right now if you follow this you want to go into the configuration press tab and then go into the displays and then remember the PSX uh, shoot 'em ups there's there's either no ROMs in it or it doesn't work I forget which one but you probably don't want it on your display so you're just gonna go into that display and you're gonna say show and cycle no show in menu no That's another thing you might want to do to just clean up the uh, attract mode menu
Now at this point, we have almost every emulator working. The only one I know of that doesn't work is MSX2. And there are your occasional games that don't work, but I mean, that's a really small percentage. With the MSX2, I'm thinking there's a couple of um, emulators that aren't installed in the RetroPie settings. So maybe try installing those and mess with resolution and frequencies. But once you fix everything we've talked about and we get that run command working, I don't see any issues with this setup um, at all. I want to just reiterate this point and say it on all my videos that if you just want a basic setup that works, just download the Raise Image stock, update the RetroPie, maybe fix the Famicom and the Virtual Boy and the MSX if that's what you want. And then just run it like that. Everything should be working just great. I'm sure we're going to get this thing upgraded and with the new attract modes and things like that. But for the meantime, if you're asking me all these questions and you get lost or your things are crashing, either be patient and be okay with figuring things out as you go or do what I'm telling you, which is don't upgrade a track mode yet. We are fixing some things and every time you update it, settings will get reset. And as settings get reset, those settings need to be fixed again. And that's what we're working on now. I really do appreciate everybody in the community. There's a lot of great people out there giving a lot of great advice. So thank you all. Let's keep it up. Let's keep sharing. Um, all right. Lastly, on the video I uploaded this morning about the RetroPie Overclock, that was a parody video. I hope nobody took offense to it. It was pretty funny. We were just messing around. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you didn't enjoy it, that's fine too. And if you could like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next time.